the place where so many famous people have had streets named after them. But this particular city has a fine sense of history. This street is named after a ship. The ship is called the Mary Rose. 450 years ago, it sank at Spithead. As the ship went down, King Henry VIII of England stood and watched from this very spot. The pride of his fleet was to become a time capsule of life in Tudor England. Built at Portsmouth in 1509, today, the ship is giving up its secrets. From the lifting vessel, the diving project is conducted. So let's look at Portsmouth. Fifty years ago, Portsmouth looked like this. Forty years ago, 1,320 high explosives, 39,000 incendiaries, and 38 mines were dropped on her. Reminders of the past. The White Swan. The new Theatre Royal, which it was when opened 130 years ago. Originally a music hall, the King's Theatre, a marvelous old building, now stages prior to London presentation. It's 800 years since the cathedral was founded. A parish church in 1320, it became a cathedral in 1927. Charles II, but he married Catherine of Braganza in the Garrison Church in 1662. Today, it's a shell. Portsmouth projected herself into a new age. Modern office blocks were created. Contemporary housing and congenial surroundings came into being. As did new thoroughfares and shopping centers. International companies headquarter here, and by complex engineering know-how, land reclaimed from mudflats provides for more and more construction. In the tranquility of Victoria Park, memorials commemorate men and ships lost in historic battles. Built in 1760, the Landport Gate was once the main entrance to the town. Today a very different story. Every year more than 800,000 people come in and out of Portsmouth. Just across the way come the ferries from Gosport. Medals, uniforms, and relics of famous bands are in the Royal Marines Museum. Portsmouth has always been strategically important. Defense was always a priority. In the 1800s, Lord Palmerston built a ring of sea fortresses. And fortresses on land. But by the time they were finished, they were obsolete. Where the Camber Dock is now, Portsmouth really started. It was a natural inlet from the sea. There's certainly more than meets the eye here. A charter given to the town in 1194 allowed markets to be held, and they've been held ever since. This is Charlotte Street, where everyone in the know goes. Would you turn down an invitation to go to sea with the Royal Navy? You wouldn't. Well, neither did I. So I went to sea to see the Navy's Sea Day program. Fourteen hundred people come to work to the magnificent modern civic offices in Guildhall Square. 
in Guildhall Square, all kinds of things happened. I felt the anticipation, the excitement. As the band plays, a limousine arrives at the red carpeted Guildhall steps. His famous ancestor looks across to His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, who watches the display, organized in honor of his visit. What a way to find out the time. Guildhall Square is the hub around which Portsmouth revolves and dominated by the magnificent Guildhall. On the nights of the 10th and the 11th of January, 1941, incendiary bombs destroyed the interior. The Guild Hall seems to be looking at me, so... So long, Portsmouth. He is looking at you.